Hi beautiful mamas, welcome to Mom for Every Season. I'm Taryn and today I am sharing with you five tips on reducing your stress through the holidays. Wouldn't it be nice to be as stress-free and easy as this over here? Instead of this over here. Ah! Because I don't know about you, but I, I never get stressed. No, not at all. Never. Mm -mm. I don't get stressed out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Tip number one is a brain dump. So what I like to do sometimes is, and I'll do this any time of the year because it just feels good to get it out onto paper. But I'll take my journal and I'll take a page and I'll literally write down whatever comes to mind. So whether that is, you know, dates that you need to remember or presents you have to buy for or, you know, gifts for so-and-so secret Santa or you need to get this done, just like literally brain dumping it all so you can see it front and center. And I always instantly feel an instant release, like an instant like, ah, after I've done that. So, and then you can go from there and pick and you know add it to your calendar or whatever you need to do and it's a little bit more up front and center and you can then clear it out and go from there number two is having some boundaries so of course December is a big month for parties and you know it's different dates and stuff like that but just really putting boundaries about the events and the people you want to surround yourself around that time. I know it can be kind of tough when it has um, time to do with family. Really only saying yes to those that you actually truly want to be there for. So rather than saying I'm gonna go to, you know, 10 Christmas parties throughout the month and just, just being there and being stressed about it, only saying yes to the select few that you really enjoy being around those people and it brings you joy. So say, um, and then you can be there fully in the moment and fully for that party or event. Number three is self care. There is never a more important time to take care of yourself first than this month. Of course, December is very busy and hectic sometimes, but we don't have to let that take over our whole entire lives. So making yourself a priority this is a must in motherhood. So making sure that if you have some sort of healthy habits to st still keep it going, keep it going throughout the whole month, at least to a bare minimum so that you can still show up and be the best mother and the best version of yourself that you can. So making sure that you're taking some of that, t some daily time just for you, whether you, and that self-care, the thing about self-care is it is, it's, personal and it's really it's so different for everyone so what might feel like self-care to me may not feel like self-care to you so what is important to you for me personally I like to you know just have some quiet time and meditate or read a book whereas maybe you like to go for pedicures or I mean I'm very much introverted so I have to have that time to recharge and get back to myself. Keeping your self-care routines and your healthy habits throughout the month of December will help relieve some of that stress and be able to cope better with when it is a stressful time period. Number four is pause and presence. So if you feel like you're kind of getting into that overwhelm and burnt out feeling, and just getting into anxiety or hecticness, whatever that is, whatever that looks for you, just pause, take a deep breath, maybe take a couple, and just focus on that present moment. I've done kind of a little visualization in another video, I can link it here, and I've used it for the last year and it has helped immensely. And it is just really just taking some deep breaths, taking some time to yourself, and I mean, you don't even have to be by yourself. You can be with your children and still use this little visualization, but just getting into that present moment, looking around you. And then number five is having and feeling some gratitude around these moments. It's such a magical time of year. And if you can kind of take the focus off of that busyness side or hectic side and move it over onto just gratitude and appreciation and focusing on that magical moments, 
and being in the moment, it will help with that stress level immensely. Tell me in the comments down below which one you need to work on the most for you so that you go through December as stress-free as possible. Tell me down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're brand new, I would love for you to stick around. I post videos on motherhood and just being open and honest about seasons of motherhood, tips and tricks, life hacks, and just really anything to help simplify motherhood. Don't forget to come follow me on Instagram under the same name, a mom for every season. I have a challenge going on right now for this month called More Presents for December. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check it out in the description box below. Just about being more grounded and more present in this month of December and really any anytime. We should be implementing more present moments and gratitude in our day-to-day -day lives anyway. That's it, bye for now.